Welcome back, Wonderlanders. This is Epcot Day and the first day of the International Food and Wine 2024 Festival. Oh my god, we're going to eat so much food and I'm going to drink so much beer. And the unrecognized holiday of Chris's birthday. Yep. Of course. <laughs> oh, by the way, check out one of my new fits. We have some clothes. Bought some clothes. <laughs> I know some of y'all are like, hold on, that's a Volcom shirt. It's not Disney themed. You are correct. But we had to be a little responsible. Some of Disney merch is expensive. I kind of needed to get a bunch of clothes that can get me through the parks. But I like it. It's a really cool Volcom shirt. And it's I've, nice and thin too. So Yeah. So here, I'll show you this Disney shirt that I got. I only got one Disney shirt, but I'm going to wear this later on in the week. But it's kind of cool. Check it out. Ah. And that was from Uniqlo, right? Yep. Yeah. Pretty neat. Yeah. I know some of y'all are asking, like, hey, show us the clothing haul. Like, it's really nothing exciting. It's just some plain shorts and shirts and stuff, but you'll see me wear it. But anyways, 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 we gotta go. We gotta yeah. skedaddle. We gotta get the heck up out of here. It's 8.10, so we are a little behind. Um, 8.30 is early entry for Epcot. So we're gonna go downstairs, grab a bus, and meet you over there. <laughs> We made it! Let's get through okay, security. Finally here. It's a car ready. Oh, monorail. That'd be nice to monorail in. Yeah. But you gotta stay at a deluxe for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we figured out this morning that apparently if you are a pass holder, you are able to have one guest per pass holder with you to go through the entrance. So I'm gonna ask and see if that actually is true. Good morning. I have a question for you. So if my husband and I have guests with us, can they go through the pass holder entrance? Only if they're with you. Only with us? Yes. And is there like a limit? Okay. As long as they come through with you and okay. you're in the line, you're going to be fine. Perfect. Thank you, Terry. All right, so we got in the park and Spaceship Earth only has a five minute wait, which basically is a walk on. So I say, let's go ahead and do it because yeah, I why really not? like it. We didn't do it last trip, so. Yeah, that's true. I'm, I, I like Spaceship Earth. It's, it's not a bad ride, you know, yeah. catch up on your history lessons, you know what I mean? But yeah, let's, let's go do that. All right. <laughs> During your slow moving journey, your time machine will slowly rotate back and may stop momentarily. Thanks to handy household robots. Into the future. Or should I say the beginning of the 
So, once for a change, we really don't have a game plan as of right now. We're um, well, kind of winging not, it. Not till like 11. Yeah, I mean, true, but it feels really refreshing. Kind of not having a game plan. Like, All right. just kind of chilling. Because we don't have a game plan and because there's no line for the creation shop, can we go inside? Merch. <laughs> Shopping. Let's just do it now. Let's get out of the way. Yeah, let's, come on, let's do this. <laughs> Why? Money just goes. I didn't bye say bye. I didn't buy anything. I just want to go look. All right, Wonderlanders, who out there thinks? Hey, who out there thinks Samantha isn't gonna buy something? Because I think she's gonna buy something. I don't know. I might throw you off for a loop. I might be the one that buys something and you don't. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Actually, like. Like chill here. This is Samantha in her natural habitat. Shopping. That's a cool shirt. I do like it, but I want it's like a full t-shirt. And I like the like the baby mm. tee style right now. It's like the trendy thing. That's, is that what's in? Yeah. All the cool kids are wearing that? All the cool kids are wearing that. Samantha's part of the cool kid club. But she never invites me in. I'm going to grab an XL for right now. Because I thought you were going to say, I'm going to invite you one day. Because once again, if you find it and you like it, get it, because you can always return it. Listen, if y'all want to be rich, do not follow that advice. If you want to be broke, follow that advice. That's what, what do they call that, grill math? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Disney girl, man. Yeah. <laughs> if you see it, buy it. All right, well, I see everything in the store. No, I'm saying, like, <laughs> if you see something that you think you want, oh, I see just, you. like, hold on to it. Uh -huh. Like, I don't know if I'm going to actually get this, but I'm going to hold on to it because merch goes quick, you know? Well, they have some really nice citizen watches that I really like and want. Okay, mm. that's a whole other tax bracket. That We're not there just yet. Oh, okay. You want to look at that Epcot water bottle? No, not really. Okay. Samantha in her natural habitat. What shall she pick up next? Hmm. Wait till you find out. So here are the pins. The top three are going to be pass holder, at least the ones that I can grab. You got a Figment one, you got Mickey Minnie, and then you got a Remy's, which is adorable. And then these are just the generic ones for the Food and Wine Festival. So you don't have to be a pass holder to get these. But yeah, really cool. So are you, which one get, are you jonesing for? I'm gonna get one, so I'll let y'all know right now what I'm not gonna get. So okay. I'm not gonna get this one. Not gonna get that one. Okay. Not gonna get that one. Okay. And I'm not gonna get this one. Yeah, because it has a dangly. I'm not a big fan of the dangly yeah. pins. Now, I kind of really want to get this because I, I honestly don't know how much longer the Muppets are really gonna be. Mm -hmm. With Disney, I mean, I really don't see them with all the changes that are going on and going to happen in the future. I don't see the Muppets being around much longer, so this might be kind of cool to have. But you know, shout out to my boy Figment. <laughs> That's the one you're gonna or, go with. Or I can get them both. Or I get both. <laughs> We're gonna get both. Okay. Selections have been made. And I think I'm gonna put this Epcot t shirt back and get the annual pass holder shirt. Hey. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick the craziness that's going on over here. So I'm sorry, it's a little crazy. I don't wanna film everything, but what I will film, I will put it here. There are a couple different options, a couple different merch stuff. Uh, T-shirts. There was a, a mug. There's, uh, so, there's much so much. There's so much stuff, and I want to get it all, but like, <laughs> I have to be very frugal because I have my eye on the Boba Fett or Darth Vader helmet, and that's like 140 bucks. So I'm reserving myself. But it's cool merch. Yeah. I'm the Food and Wine Festival merch is growing more and more on me. I didn't originally like it. Mm -hmm. But they're definitely stepping up their game. So. This year's is really cool. Um, Remy's, Figment have been prominent. Mickey and Minnie, 
Um, but yeah, tons of different options. Big news, my boy. So let's get our purchases and yeah, get out of here. It's, yeah, it's, it's a lot of people. All right, guys. It's 9.53, and Chris and I have been in the park for about know, a little over an hour or so. And we're just sitting in Connections Cafe. Guardians is going to be called for us very soon. I bought a single ride Lightning Lane for today, and it was, I think it was like $15 per person. And our group is going to be called very soon. So we're going to go ahead and just chill, wait for Kelly and Sue. They did not join us this morning. So they're in the park, they're just at security. So we're going to grab them. Um, and just chill for a little bit. It's beautiful weather and we're really excited for it. Forget about what you're talking about. Look at me. Look at my new shirt. <laughs> nice. He had to change. Very handsome. I had to get some Disney merch because again, you know, I don't I lost my clothes. So I will say I like this. This looks better than the shirt you had on, I think. <laughs> I think so too. But anyways, what were you saying before no, this beautiful man it's, came into your footage? It's a it's a really beautiful day and it's it really nice out. So it's going to be a hot one, but we're prepared for it. We yeah. are going to end the park day a little bit earlier than yesterday. Yeah, I wouldn't mind kind of chilling at the resort, yeah. maybe going by the pool or something like that. So Yeah. But anyways, I'm going to go try to take a photo with Tim Trevor. Yeah, he's, he's over there. <laughs> Look who we found. Are you guys ready for... <laughs> Are you guys ready for Guardians? Yes. Your first okay. ride of the day? Very cool. Yeah, let's go do that. And then food, because... Hungry. I'm getting kind of hungry. Yeah. yeah. You guys yeah. need breakfast. No breakfast. No breakfast. No. Ours was good. My sausages were not good. They had that whole bus stuff. Oh, did you have the quick service like, breakfast? Yeah. How was it? Well, with the exception of bad sausages. Oh, it's no. Good. Okay. But there was a little funk to it. Uh oh. -uh. But the coffee was great. It was, nice. Uh, like, it was good as fresh. All right. Let's head over to Guardians. Greetings, Terrans. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayan, Commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years, assuming you had a ship that could fly at the speed of light. So we decided to come to you. But even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the cosmic generator an advanced piece of Xandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts, linking distant points in space. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. <laughs> and now, as the culmination of the wonders of Xandar, you will be teleported to a Nova ship above your planet for a demonstration of the Cosmic Generator. Welcome, people of Epcot. Epcotters. Epcotians. Citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? What? I'm on. Someone needs to tell me when I'm on. Welcome. Epcot Terrans, I am Centurion Tau Merrick, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. As you're about to enter a secure Nova area, I must ask you to put away your Terran communication devices at this time. Recording of any type is strictly prohibited. I am very serious about this. Now, please step forward into the chamber. You're gonna love this. So, what's happening? I'm not sure. Our power's out. And the cosmic generator is gone. Security of mine. Go to code red. Prepare the fleet. And call the guard. Now. There is no cause for alarm. Turn off that alarm. I've got an important transmission coming in. Hey, what's up, Nova Park? Our 
cosmic generator has been stolen. What? How? What did we think of that? That thing's gotta be worth a fortune. I agree. Good question. Yeah, what do you think, Toby? Perhaps that really big man outside your ship. That is a big man. I need to alert Noble Prime. I think we're gonna get Iran. I want Congo. I'll take September again. What about you? What do you think it's gonna be? It's like Stu, Iran, Congo. Stu's just happy to be here. Yeah, Congo for my birthday. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get Congo. Congo. Magic birthday. We get it. Okay, I've locked onto your vehicle. We'll be right behind you. Nothing to worry about. Unless we cannot stop this unusually large man. Then you're likely doomed. Yes. Good luck. You're gonna need it. So Samantha has her fry flight in hand, Yay! and we're walking over to the brewing lab at the Odyssey building to get a pickle milkshake and the really spicy wings, because they're actually really delicious. They taste like curry, but they're really hot, and if you don't like hot food, do not get those wings. If you want to look at the menu, here's the menu. A lot of cool stuff. You have your chicken wings. They have uh, plant-based options, but that pickle milkshake, that's, that's going in our bellies. Look at the lines, y'all. OMG. Holy smokes. It is super busy in here right now. So it's probably going to be a minute before we get some of the food, but it's okay. We have all day here. It's the girls' room. <laughs> the boys are in line. We're at the brewing lab at the Odyssey, and it's a huge, long line. Mm -hmm. I think it's busy because this is like the first like indoor booth, really, for the food and wine festival. We haven't even gotten to the world showcase yet, and it's 11:20, but we have time. Oh yeah. So we got the fry flight from the fry basket. It has truffle parmesan fries, barbecue bacon fries with smoked aioli sweet potato casserole fries with candied pecans, 
toasted marshmallow cream and bourbon maple syrup. Kelly and I just really quickly tried all three of them because <laughs> we were very hungry. Kelly, what was your favorite? The sweet potato fries? Yes. Not a surprise though, I love sweet potato fries. The bourbon maple syrup, I'm a bourbon person, mm -hmm. delicious, not overwhelmingly bourbony, mm -hmm. just, just very tasty. I also like sweet potato fries, but I'd like to point out that that beautiful marshmallow cream has now melted into the situation going on here. So that's the only drawback from it, but they were very tasty. Very tasty. What was your second? So my second favorite was the truffle fries, which yeah. I'm not normally a truffle person, but the fry on that, so th there's actual like chew, it's crispy. Yeah. That, so texture wise, um, that beat the barbecue bacon fries. Um, it was like eating a Lay's barbecue chip. Nothing too special. See, so I'm gonna do opposite. I'm gonna do the sweet potato number one, Barbecue bacon, number two, and the truffle fries, three. And the only reason being is I also had truffle fries last night at Summer House on the Lake, and I really like those better than this, mm -hmm. but I will agree with you, the crunch was there. So, yeah. if you like Chipotle, you'll like um, the barbecue bacon fries. I also am not a Chipotle person. Yeah. It's too smoky for me. So, yeah. That's well, my, my one, two, and three. That's the girls' review. We'll get the guys in a bit. <laughs> but they're still gra grabbing their beer, so. See you in a sec. All right, whoa, that was pure and utter chaos. And I guess that's just par for the course. We're coming on the first day of the Food and Wine Festival. Yeah. Whenever Samantha and I have ever come to these festivals, it's been you know like about a month or two in. And I feel like at that point, Disney's kind of dialed in a lot of these things. The line, it was just, I don't know, it was very chaotic. Yeah, you guys waited about yeah. 45 minutes. For the everything. cast members were very apologetic, and I kept telling them, like, listen, it's, it's okay. Like, this is the first day of Food and Wine. Like, it's not a big deal. So keep that in mind. If you go to the Food and Wine Festival on the first day, there will be some hiccups in some of the places you go to. Like, perfect example, they gave us the beer flights, but they don't have the cards to describe oh, what they are. Wow. So we'll do our best to kind of remember what they were. We took some photos to make Kelly sure. Kelly has the um, guide. Yeah, so we're kind of running through it. But Boots here. Let's eat. So we're gonna try the pickle milkshake first and Stu is gonna try it first. I know what you meant by the paint. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's good, it's refreshing, but like... It's got like a... I don't a, know what that is, but it's like a... That like painting, astringent, like... Yeah, that's weird. Thing. It's thick. It's but thick. it's not weird. bad though. I don't know if you, if you didn't say paint, I don't know if I want to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miss Kelly. Yeah, that's after you've been painting. <laughs> I'm telling you. For you get a couple like... hours in, you walk out, you go get lunch, you come back, and you're like, whoo, that's the scent, that's the flavor. But, but it's not but, bad, it makes you want but, to go back for more. Okay. It's got great texture. I mean, it's not gross. It's essentially. It's a, not it's gross, great. but it's not it's good. It's not gross, it's great. It's a vanilla milkshake, but dill flavor. It's not vinegary at I all. I like it. Yeah. It's growing on me. All right. Oh, it's me? The collective uh, rating from you two. Seven. Mar okay. Partially for the novelty, I would say. Okay. I don't know if I would get it again. No. But I'm glad I got it. Yeah. Kelly? Out of a ten. I'm going to give it a six out of ten. Okay. Okay. It's fair. I, I would be cautious if you're solo and you ordered that. That's going to be way too much solo. I couldn't yeah. drink all of that. No, but if you're with a group of people, that's going to be that's going to be fun. It's fun to taste. It's going to be fun. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try the sweet fries. That tasted exactly how I thought it was going to taste. <laughs> I don't know. I'll give that a 5 out of 10. I'm not a big sweet potato fan. Yeah, you'll like these. What's the middle one? The barbecue bacon. Oh, that, now that, that now you're talking my language. Nope. Really? I don't like that either. Nope. But tastes just like a Lay's barbecue chip, in my opinion. I'd give that less. I'd give that a three out of five. And that's truffle. That's the best one out of all of them. Really? Okay. Well, there's Chris's rating. <laughs> all right, so it's time to try the hot wings. The unnecessarily hot wings. <laughs> it's pretty hot, but they're good. Like, it's a curry. It's not yeah, I love them. 
<laughs> it, it, it'll build as you eat more of them. I'll, I'll, I'll go for a whole one. I'm not oh. afraid. Oh, shoot. She's about to get lit up, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to need a little bit of time between this and the next Guardian. <laughs> okay, it's, it is curry. Oh, yeah. It, the flavor is great. It's like a sharp heat. Yeah. And as you eat more of them, it builds. Oh, no. I like rolls? Yeah. Well, what would you give it out of 10, Phil? Just flavor wise. I don't like the flavor. Oh, but, okay. But I'm not a curry person. I'm very picky about that. Hold on. Someone is more than welcome to finish that one for me. Samantha, you're not going to finish that. I'll eat it. It's hot, right? It's hot. He's like he's sweating. He's got. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I got <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm gonna do that to myself. <laughs> you can see the sweat you know what, around your eyes. I'm good. <laughs> Y'all So it makes the coconut milk shake a lot better. Does it? Oh, I gotta do that. I didn't do that last year. It's like super cooling. I love how Stu's yeah. pairing the pickle milkshake with food. With the yeah. <laughs> All right, it's 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 my turn to try the hot wings. I've had them already. They're great. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for a drum. I'm a drum man. Mm. You just took a big bite. Mm. That's hot. <laughs> Great flavor. Though, last year, there was more curry flavor in them. Oh, really? Yeah, but they're just as hot. If you stop yeah. breathing, you can't feel the heat. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's, like getting hotter. Don't if you it. cease to exist, you can't feel it. Well, because, right. because, it's because it's a Carolina Reaper. It was oh, is this a Carolina Reaper? Yeah. Per Stu's recommendation. That's gonna be gone. Yeah. Oh, it's like soothing. Yeah. yeah flavorful. And now the heat's back. Yeah, almost immediately. <laughs> Kelly and Sue are gonna go ahead and start the beer flight. Kelly, what? Oh, she's sipping. What was that? So, as Chris was saying, first day of food and wine, there's some hiccups. We didn't get the beer card. So, we're gonna play a game of let's try them all. And then guess and see which one we're drinking. Oh, guess which one's your favorite, Kel? Mine is um, this light beer, the Heifweizen. Okay. I haven't tried this one. Very like lightly floral, really refreshing. Okay. High Alai, if you like those, you like IPAs, you like a little bit of bitter. I'm not really getting a lot of peach with that. Um, again, I could be completely wrong. We don't have labels for these. Yeah, no. Label. Doing our best. This is my order. That's your order? Uh -huh. I literally the op the opposite. complete opposite. So that's great. Perfect. So I'll finish that one. <laughs> you take that one down and we can split that one. There you go. I'd give all those like an eight out of ten. Thank you. Oh, okay. They were good. I drink I, I could drink a full glass of all of those. So there you go. So now we're gonna move on to the cider flight. Um and again they didn't give us the card, so I'm gonna just read off of this. We're gonna go in order from left to right. And the first one's going to be I'm sorry that I'm reading from this, but I have no choice. It's going to be the Copper Tail Brewing Smoked Lager from Tampa, Florida. Mm. Ugh. <laughs> oh my god. That starts off strong and then it just tastes like a band aid. I want to try it. Ugh. That is a 1 out of 10 for me. Really? Alright, so that was absolutely disgusting, but I'm going to chug it anyways <laughs> because it's alcohol. So we're not starting off strong. The next one's going to be Keel Farms Elderberry Serrano Hard Cider. Oh God, that's, <laughs> I'm a beer guy, I don't like ciders, but I do this for you. <laughs> that was disgusting. That was a two out of 10 for me. I like it. I think it's, it's well, like you, juice. You like ciders. I don't. But on the back end, it tastes like... It's Disgusting. Like, no, it's smoky on the back end. I like it. It's sweet and smoky, and I'll give this a 7 out of 10. Last but surely not least, the Three Daughters Brewing Pickle Hard Cider. Now, I gotta admit, I'm really interested in this, and I hope I like it. We'll see. It is absolutely clear. All right, now that's good. Oh! That's good. It doesn't really, it's kind of got like a vinegary kind of flavor, but all right, that's that's really good. I'd give this like a seven out of 10. It's pretty good. I'm trying to put my finger on like what it tastes like. 
<laughs> she loves it. <laughs> I like it. Is that bad? Nine out of ten. Oh. What about it? <laughs> what about it? Don't you like? That's straight up vinegar. Nah, it's not that sour. Oh my god, I don't like it. I do like sour things, but there's not much smell to it, right? White vinegar. Oh my god, that face. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's my brother yeah, from another mother. Mm -hmm. Both of the boys like it. Mm -hmm. It's not bad, right? It's, it's refreshing. It's, sour. it's a little vinegary, but yeah. it's kind of refreshing. We are heading out and we are going to go back to Guardians to get our virtual queue. So we're gonna do that. I don't think I'm gonna film this ride. I think I'm gonna enjoy it with my family and my husband. And we'll catch you guys after. So that was a very successful ride very. too on Guardian. You got your song. I did, I got Iran, and I'm glad I didn't have the camera because I was like jamming out. I love that ride. Yeah, it's such a good one. I tried to record it. I got the launch scene, that's really what I wanted, but I have a gimbal for my cell phone and it does not like roller coasters, but no. man, I'm so happy. You got your song, I got my song. It's been a very successful first half of our yeah, day. So now it is near one o'clock and we are gonna go into the World Showcase and finally try some more food and wine. We haven't items. even like really experienced the World Showcase yet. Yeah, but it's his birthday and we wanted to do Guardians. You really wanted to do Guardians twice and that's what we do on birthdays. Yeah, for sure. So let's go get some food. Let's, I don't know what we're gonna get first, but. I don't know. We have uh, tons of booths yeah. listed out on our notes, but I think we're gonna start in Mexico. That means shots. Yes. Birthday shots. Yes. Tequila. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> okay. See you in Mexico. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Cava Del Tequila, and we're gonna do some birthday shots, but we have a special guest I want to introduce y'all to. Everyone say what's up to Gamble. That's the man, bro. He's, he, he, he's blessed us with coming here today to take some shots with us for my birthday. He's with his friend Jess, who's currently talking to my beautiful wife. And we have Kelly and Stu here. It's good. It's good. Alright. There you go. Happy birthday, Chris! <laughs> there we go. Woo! <laughs> this is the mocktail that they have. I don't remember what's in it. We can find that out later. I will stop and prove the point and just put something. Doesn't care. I did. I did that too. Uh, and she was like, "Why are you chugging your beer?" Like, delicious. I think I made it to the can. <laughs> oh my gosh. Of course she is. This is very good. It's great for content. Really? Yes. All the coffee beans. That was the fanciest drink ever. I told you, it's smooth. Give it a rating. I give a seven. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's not bad at all. It's smoky. I think it's made of Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, huh? But it's very smooth. Okay, is this going to be weird, but can I try it? <laughs> okay, that's good. That's really good. It's a pretty, pretty princess. I'm surprised you like that because that's definitely mezcal and it's smoky. Oh, yeah. I mean, after one of those, I'm done. That's pretty nice. <laughs> you too. Go ahead. Salute. Oh, I don't like mezcal. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly's like, no. Not a mezcal person. Smooth. Good? It is really smooth. I like it. I'm like half and half on mezcal. Not bad. No. Hey y'all, it's like two hours 
<laughs> we were in there a while. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't show too much. We were, we, honestly, we were having fun with friends and family, and that's just what Disney's all about. Um, I will put some footage into the vlog, so you guys probably already seen that by now, but we had some tequila shots for the birthday boy. It's great. I Do love you know what type of shot you had? Uh, I, it nah, was so loud I couldn't loud pronounce it. I went to the, the, the cast member, I was like, whatever this is. <laughs> We got it for the table. And then your little, what was it called? The chaser that you really like from Sang the honeymoon. Sangrita, or just yeah. Sangrita. It's basically like a spicy V8. Yeah. And our wonderful friend Gamble didn't have to do this, but he paid for all the drinks. What a man. This this is the man, the myth, and the legend right here. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> all yeah. right. I'm just happy to hang out, especially on your birthday. I'm glad you guys came down to visit. We appreciate it, man. It's, it's been a blast. And we're going to have another special guest. If y'all don't know Josh from JVTV, so we'll see him in a little bit. But We'll link his channel in the description. <laughs> but yeah, but we, we had a lot of fun. I feel good, so. Our plan is, it is just shy of three o'clock, like 2.57 if the you want to be. Flying. Time is fun. But you know what, honestly, the weather has cleared up. It's sunny, it's hot. So we're gonna take our time, go through some food booths, yeah. try some stuff. If we don't get to everything, that's okay because you know, we'll be back. Oh, we'll be back. I think we'll be here <laughs> Monday, right? Uh, actually, we're going to be here Sunday. Oh, so right. we're going to um, just kind of mosey along halfway through the World Showcase. Do some more drinking. Do some more drinking, some of eating. course. Do some eating. Some Disney partying. <laughs> Family friendly partying. So yeah, so let's catch up with everybody and make our way through the World Showcase. Let's do it. wanted to hop on here real quick to just let you guys know that unfortunately I'm having some camera issues uh, long story short some of my memory cards are really full and I thought I emptied them last night in the room and I didn't and then my extra memory cards are not talking to my new camera so things are a little wonky right now so I just want to give you a heads up that I'm going to be filming on my iPhone here for a little bit but sometimes things happen and that's just the way it is Sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. If there's nothing that Disney has taught me, it's roll with the punches and just be a chameleon and adapt when you can. So let's head to Germany. And I am by myself. So of course I had to stop, get a vodka cocktail at China because uh, it's hot. And your girl wanted some vodka after that tequila. I am not a tequila drinker, but everybody else was. All right, what's up, y'all? Listen, we're at Germany right now. I got beer in hand. We have some food. The party kind of got split up a little bit. Kelly and Stu are like doing their own thing, but um, we have a special guest, and I want to introduce y'all to Josh. Cheers from JVTV. Yeah. He's been uh, good enough to bless me on my birthday today. Yeah. So. One TV to another. Yes, sir. There That's we cheers, go. Cheers, brother. Yeah. And then there's Gamble. Gambles, I, you don't got to include him. Bro. I, I'm, I'm figuring <laughs> out Gamble's yeah. always there. He's just in the background. He's just in the background lurking. You have no idea. Like a creep. <laughs> Hello, Wonderland. It has now been another hour past, and we're just leisurely taking a stroll across the World Showcase. We did hit up the Germany food and wine booth. We got basically all three items. There was a ham and cheese macaroni, which Kelly devoured. So that's why I don't have footage of that. But that was very tasty. I missed that. Yes, Chris missed that because he was getting a beer. The other thing that we got was the apple strudel, which yeah. Chris thoroughly enjoyed. I love it. Eight out of ten. It's it, it's a must have for me. It, it's not necessarily for everyone, but it's very tart. I don't know. I, I love it. Get it. It's it's worth it. It's good. And then I got the sausage in a pretzel roll with mustard, and that was actually really good as well. Yep. So Germany, you never, never disappoint. Ah, uh, 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 uh. oh. Germany does disappoint. Well, the food and wine booth didn't disappoint, but Germany, this did. What is this? What? What is this? It's a twelve-dollar pretzel. It's garbage. That's what it is. Okay, man, that's a little strong. It's not garbage, <laughs> but it's not good. It was just very stale, and to be completely honest with you guys, for twelve dollars for a pretzel that doesn't come with any like mustard, come with mustard or extra cheese sauce, yeah, I would say skip this. And if you're really jonesing for a pretzel, 
take the Skyliner at International Gateway and go to Baseline and Hollywood yes, Studios. Yes, Baseline has the best pretzel on property. Yeah. I don't care what you say. <laughs> it's the best pretzel on property. So. so with that being said, Kelly and Stu have decided to return to the resort. Chris and I are going to hang out with our friends over here from JVTV. And gamble on the go. Yep. And we're going to enjoy the afternoon. We will link all of their socials and their channels in the description below. Because, of course, they're friends of ours. And yeah. Show them some love. For sure. So <laughs> let's go do that. I'm going to try to see if we can maybe ride a ride, see what wait times are. Okay. And ride something. And then I think they got to bounce. And then I think, honestly, I wouldn't mind we going back to the resort. Yes. So let's go see what happens next. All right. So we're, we're sitting here trying to figure out exactly what we want to do. But I think I have the best idea for us to do. Oh, no. Let's all go ride living with the land. Why you do not like living with the land, Josh? I like more than sitting at sunshine seasons waiting for people to get off. I'm just joking. We're not we're not doing living with the land. We're not doing living with the land. But I think we should maybe find something to do. And then I know these guys got to get out of here. They they've blessed us enough to come come join us on the on the channel and. And they got to get back to it. But um, yeah, we don't know what we're doing yet, but we'll figure it out. And once we do, we'll let you know. All right, so I had to bring Josh. Gamble's trying this too. And um, the Club Cool cocktail. Now, there's no alcohol in it, just Club Cool cocktail sounds good. This started out as a gag. I thought it was going to be funny. It's actually really good. So, what you do, I'll make it for you. Yeah. It's all the sodas mixed in one. Club Cool Cocktail. So we're gonna get in here and we're gonna, we're gonna try it. We're not gonna try the Beverly, we know that sucks. We're not gonna try the China one, we know that sucks, but we're gonna mix them all. All right, so, so we got the Club Cool Cocktails in hand. I've had it, I'm gonna let them try it. So go ahead and try it. I mean, the uh, color's consistent. Uh, honest reviews, I really, want, I really yeah. want to know. I know y'all to be honest. That really isn't bad. It's not bad, it's not bad at all. Okay. So this yes. is every single one? Every single one. Even the beverage? Even the beverage. And the barbecue sauce. Just so you're saying. Six, nine. It's not bad. I, I get Would it. I do it's it again? Alcohol. Maybe. Yeah. But Maybe I'm, some alcohol in here would be good. I'd still rather drink beverage right off the boat. No, that's, that's savage. That's savage. That's, I don't, why? You, get, you know that's a palate cleanser? Six one. I, I, so I was with the lane. I'd like give it a six. Yeah, six one. Pretty, pretty solid. Better than I thought it would. Yeah. Club cool cocktail. Get it. This has been the best birthday ever in my entire life. Aww. This it is, makes me very happy. I'm just. I feel so blessed and honored to be here with you. And to have Kelly and Stu with us. And the fact that Gamble on the Go and Josh from JVTV decided to take their time out of their day to come hang out with us and to meet them. And I think we made some real long-term friends. They're cool people. We're already planning a trip in February, so. We'll be back. But yeah. <laughs> and also Gamble, shout out to you. Thank you for the birthday shots. My man, you did not have to do that, but I appreciate you and I get you back on the uh, February, so. But I think we're going to the resort, right? 4.30 on the dock. Yeah. We have dinner reservations tonight at Toledo's. Top of the Grand Destino Tower. Yep. I'm excited for that. I think we're going to go back to the resort and chill. I might go to the bar, get something yeah. to drink, and then that's when I'll probably like freshen up and whatnot. So. We do apologize for not filming the entirety of the afternoon. We were in good company, and to be honest with you, Wonderlanders, we really wanted to enjoy the company of our friends and our yeah. family. And so what you guys saw in the vlogs is really what we were able yeah. to shoot. Once again, I know I talked about it before. I did have a little bit of a camera issue, which was my bad. But once again, these things kind of happen. Yeah. And if Disney World ever taught us anything it's to roll with the punches and yeah. just Some, go with it sometimes you know you run out of batteries your phone dies yeah. you lose your luggage i don't know <laughs> you know so it is what it is but uh all in all great day now if you want to though head over to our instagram and there'll be yes. some more of that content that we didn't really record that i got on there so check us out on instagram you can see some behind the scenes stuff see us talking with gamble and josh and 
have some fun. So once again, I will put everybody's socials in the description below. So please check out our friends. We love them. They're great people. This community is the best community ever. Absolutely. All right, with that being said, y'all, we're going to see y'all back at the resort. Much love to y'all. Bye. All right, I know I look like a Disney mom, but I'm not a Disney mom yet. No hints, just, just saying. Um, I'm on my way to the Dick's site pool. Chris, birthday boy, wanted to just chill, which I don't blame him, it's very hot. You know, Chris, I love you, but uh, he's a little pasty and uh, he needed a little rest from the sun, so. He is chilling in the room. Kelly and Stu are at the pool. And I'm deciding to join them. So I'm gonna go over, check out the dig site pool. I'll film what I can. Obviously, everybody's in swimsuits and I don't wanna film people when they're in their swimsuits. So I'll film what I can if I can. And the plan is to, after the pool, go back, obviously get ready for dinner. And dinner is at 7.45 at Top of the Tower at Toledo. So that is the plan. Let's go to the pool. Here is the Mayan pool. And it is open from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Weather pending. But uh, it's a Mayan inspired pool. And yeah, I believe there's some slides down there. So that's pretty awesome. I see some lazy beachgoers over here. Well, look who it is. <laughs> Sleepy Kelly. Alrighty, we went for a little dip and we checked out the poolside restaurant. There's a plant. Siestas. There was a plant in my way, so I couldn't read it. Siestas and got a, you know, white claw here but they're not sponsored, so we're gonna turn it around. <laughs> and then we have, what was this, some crunch quesadilla? Crunch quesadilla and some house chips. And this was a quick service credit. So very quickly, an amuse-bouche, an appetizer, because dinner is like right around the corner. So let's go ahead and try it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wait, it's the girls' room. <laughs> That's not bad. Mm -hmm. That's your standard quesadilla. Standard chicken quesadilla. So we are gonna finish our little snack. We're gonna wrap it up at the pool. Then we're gonna run back to the room and get ready for dinner, cause that's in a little bit. And meet up with my husband, cause Chris is still in the room. <laughs> so we'll catch you guys when it's time for dinner. I just wanted to show you guys this resort again because it is absolutely breathtaking. I cannot believe we're staying here. And really lucky Chris and I work very hard all of our trips are completely out of our pockets we are not sponsored by any means and we're just very lucky to be here look at my beautiful wife getting ready I'm so glad we don't have to take a bus anymore yeah we're going upstairs to Toledo and I'm really stoked. You look beautiful, by the way. Let's all admire Samantha real quick. She looks absolutely stunning. And we match. Even though this wasn't my original outfit I had <laughs> planned for today. Man, I wish y'all could have seen all of the fits that I had. Man, I had so many planned cool Roosevelt shirts. Fanny packs, because you know me, I love my fanny packs, but it's okay. I promise at some point in this vlog series, I'm going to stop talking about my luggage. Never. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. I'm hungry. We went to food and wine, and we really didn't eat that much food and wine. <laughs> we went to food and wine with the purpose of eating food and wine, and like I said, we just hung out with friends, and the day just went in a different direction, yeah. so... Thanks for sticking with us, Wonderland. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, it 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 was a lot of fun, and and honestly, we wanted to kind of take a few hours with really no cameras, no nothing. We got some stuff, 
but we just got so caught up in the moment hanging out with Gamble on the Go and and Josh from JVTV that we just wanted to be in the moment at that time. So, um, yeah, so we do apologize if there wasn't a lot of content for the Food and Wine. We did so much planning and like building out the items that we wanted to get, but it, it, it's okay. It's completely okay. Chris and I will be back to the Food and Wine Festival, if not in a few days. We will be back. Yeah. And I'm fixing a nail because girl problems. I don't have those problems. So on top of the tower, you have Dala Lounge, Dahlia Lounge, which we'll get into that. But then you turn left and then you have Toledo. We're already checked in and we are just waiting for our table to be called. You went with the orange. I did. Very, very so nice. Very Stewie. Stewie. Very oh, handsome. Thank you. And it's okay. He looks great. <laughs> hey, it's not bad. Listen, I could be no clothes right now. Or I could just wear that. And your birthday suit? Birthday suit. <laughs> birthday, birthday party. Happy birthday. Thank you. Have you ever done it here? Nope. We are settled in Toledo. I don't know how much you heard of the server's information, but if you're on the dining plan, you do get to choose one entree, one drink, whether it's not alcoholic, alcoholic, and any of the five ounce pours of wine. There is a, a list that you can't choose from, but in the grand scheme of things, you can pretty much get any beverage that you want. And Chris, did he say you do get a dessert with it? Yes, you do get a dessert okay. as well. But the appetizers are not included. So, with that being said, we are going to try a couple appetizers, I think. I think we are also set on the entrees. So, we'll show you what we get. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Chris. <laughs> Kelly, hi. Cheers. Cheers to an Cheers. amazing day. Great company. It's my birthday. 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 My birthday party. My birthday dinner. My birthday. All right, so we got the charred octopus with potatoes, the chimichurri sauce. That baby is loud. Y'all gotta try this. That's cool. That's banging. Yeah, that's that's cooked out. very well. Oh my god, that's good. All right, how was that appetizers? 10 out of 10. Would you prefer the octopus or the shrimp? Octopus. Okay. And Kelly, what would you prefer, the octopus or the shrimp? The shrimp. And what's your rating? Seven out of ten. All right. For the shrimp, both are great. I would say nine out of ten for the shrimp, eight for the octopus. But it is the best octopus I've ever had. Oh. Nice. I like that. That's that's honest right there. That is. I would agree with Stu. Oh, I'm gonna ditto his rating. It was fantastic. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. And then this is brand new this week. Our potato, our sorry, tomato. Could I keep you? Let's get it out of the way. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, so it is 9.26 and we officially wrapped our entrees. I think everybody collectively really enjoyed the meal. So what we're going to do now is get our dessert. I'll show you guys the dessert and what we got. But from there, we're going to wrap this up and give our review. So stay tuned. So while we're waiting for our desserts, everybody got some beverages. Chris, what did you get? I got a tawny port, but specifically a 20 year old tawny port. All right, go ahead and take a sip. Whoa, that's that's really good. I like ta I like tawny ports. Up until now, I've only had a 10. And as you get higher, you can taste the alcohol more. But that is good. It tastes like cherries and raisins. Kelly, what did you get to drink? This is a bar keto, which is uh, there's a liquor in it that I can't remember. An espresso. Uh, it's very citrusy. Oh, and sweet and condensed milk. So, very good. Nice little, little nightcap. In last, but certainly not least, 
Stu, what did you get? So I got the 10 year old Tawny Fork, and we will compare it to Chris's and see what 10 years difference makes. <laughs> if any. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. It's good. Good? Yeah, and you, raisins, yeah. cherry. Yep. And you never had Tawny Fork before, right? I think so. I, I, I might have that. This is very familiar tasting. I think my like parents had this in their liquor cabinet, and I like stole some yeah. when I was a kid. All right, so it's let's, been a long time. So let's switch. So yeah, let's see. So Stu's gonna try the the twenty year, and I'm gonna try the ten year. Well, oh, it's definitely more. Yeah, more I bite. like I, I like yours better. I like the taste better. Yeah. Yes. So it's just potent. It's got more alcohol in it. Yeah. So I preferred the ten year over the twenty year. Twenty year is like. More like alcohol. It's getting like towards the liquor. Yeah, it's it's getting towards like liquor type of deal. <laughs> but it's still really good though. I mean, I love Tawny Port. So. That's good. It's really good. The desserts are very good, and we just wanted to dig in. And I think everybody's very happy with our selections, but everyone's really happy, right? I'm super happy. <laughs> this has been one of my best birthdays I think I've ever had in my life. Oh. Honestly. Happy and birthday. Happy birthday, Chris! <laughs> and what makes it even better is Toledo is on top of the Coronado Springs Tower, the Grand Destino Tower, and on the Disney Dining Plan, it's only one table service credit, which, um, can't believe that, but we took advantage of it, really enjoyed it. We'll wrap up our desserts and share our final thoughts in a bit. I just want to come in here for a fun fact for everyone. Though it is my birthday and you're hearing everyone say, Happy Birthday Chris! It's an inside joke. So for my wedding day, when I did my, I did my bachelor party basically the day before my wedding. I don't know who started it, but the running joke was if anyone asks what we're celebrating it was my birthday and then my best man and every all my other groomsmen at every given second would just be like happy birthday chris so when you hear happy birthday chris that's what it's from but it is my birthday though on my birthday it's almost 11 o'clock and as you can tell by all of our faces we are full we are happy we are tired <laughs> so very quickly Give a rating from one to 10 on Toledo. I'm gonna go first, I'm gonna say nine. I'm gonna do a nine as well. 10 out of 10, really. Nine. There we go. There's our quick, easy review. We're tired. <laughs> Very tired. <laughs> do yourself a favor, go there and eat. Here's one thing though, they say that it has um, firework views. It's yeah. a little misleading. Uh, from the balcony, you have to like kind of lean over to watch it. You can see the fireworks from the dining room, but just keep that in mind. It's not the best views of the fireworks shows. So just want to let y'all know. But still, go there, eat food. Yes. All right. Wrap it up and we'll see you guys in the room. And we're back in the room. Hello. <laughs> Man, today has been a whirlwind of a day, but on a very positive note. I'm curious to see how this video is going to kind of edit because we were all over the place. You can hear how tired I am. We're, we're very so tired. tired. So thank you if you have made it this far in our vlog. Yeah. Really appreciate your support. And while you're at it, please like the video, subscribe if you have not already because there are more adventures to come. We are heading to Animal Kingdom tomorrow. Yeah. Early entries at 7.30, but we're not gonna get there that early. Nah, plus we don't really <laughs> need to. We have a pretty solid plan with Animal Kingdom. And tomorrow we're gonna do multi-pass Lightning Lane. I'll talk about that a little bit. I'm not gonna cover that entirety. There are some other channels on YouTube that really do a really good job who cover that type of yeah. information. I'll be completely honest with you guys, as we always are, I'm still learning the process a little bit. We used it in Magic Kingdom in last week's vlog and it was very successful. So I have high hopes for it for our tomorrow, yeah, but I think it's gonna be good. the next vlog. So we'll touch on that a little bit, but it is. It's about to be 11 o'clock. Yes, so. We're tired. I've been up since six. Yeah, 6.30. You've been up since about seven. Yeah. So 
we want to get a good night's sleep because we got more stuff to do tomorrow. So, but listen, just thank you for being here. Just, I can't thank you enough. We can't thank you enough. We truly and honestly feel so blessed to be able to have the opportunity to do this and show all of you at home. So just, just thank you. And let's see what happens next. Hi, my name is Chris, and this is how I really talk. My name is Samantha. I go through speech therapy so I can speak proper in front of the camera. <laughs>